Hi everyone, this is Daniela again with the next trainings video. So, as you see, we are again here in the demo version back office and today we're going to do the video for my organization. I already clicked on it, as you see here, and when you open up my organization, we have here the organization tree and organization tools. So, now what we do, we click first on the financial tree And if you go on the financial tree, then you see here all your downlines. So now you see here all the different names who are in your, uh, in your organization. Well, of course, not all of them, not at the first view, but at least you see your first lines. And what you see here now, we have all the different symbols, okay? So here on the right side, you can see the different symbols. So this like uh, which looks like an O or a zero. This is the shop owner symbol, the A, gray A for affiliate, the shoppreneur, and here means the shoppreneur, how many shoppreneur accounts you have in your organization, this symbol. And here also the gray one, how many affiliate accounts do you have in your organization? And on the left side, what you see here first is always the level, the four or what we have here, a three star, two star, one star. This is the level he has, all right? Then here you can see this is a shop owner. The next one here, this is very interesting, is the I for information. So now let's click on Nicole. Okay, we have Nicole here. We see she is from the UK. And now we click here on the information symbol and this is very interesting as I said the first thing you see is of course her level the name and the ID number the identification number uh, you can see that she is having an ultimate life shop until 17 of November well uh, it's a, a lifetime license you can see that she's having a shopping website and the link from her shopping website you can see the link from the Shopreneur website. You can see that she currently has a four star, a her phone number, of course, email address to get in touch with her, then one pay days remaining. Um, I guess you won't see this here when you're gonna see, uh, when you're gonna have a look in your account because uh, we're gonna have here some changes in future. But now you have originally introduced by this is always very important to see who is the, the original sponsor, who is the real sponsor of somebody. And now this is very funny. You have here the last back office login. You know, sometimes we do have team partners in our teams, you know, and uh, we ask them like, okay, have you been in your back office and have you watched the trainings videos and have you looked at the information? And, and whatever okay so usually they say oh yes of course i'm very often inside in the back office and yes i've seen everything and i listen to everything and so on and this is very funny because then you can go on information and just see okay when was he last time in his back office and of course it's very funny where he says like never or just three or five times or whatever then you know exactly he isn't really that often um like you know what he would like to make you believe, right? And then the next one is the total login count. That means, for example, you can see date of first enrollment is was the 3rd of July 2015, which is uh, today we have here middle of September. Well, approximately two months, more or less. So now in two months, you can see the total login, for example, was only like seven times. And then you can see exactly, okay, he's a little bit exaggerating and it's not really true that he's very often in the back office and he's looking at the information and at the trainings and so on. So here you can see everything like this. Nobody can just tell you something. So and if you see here the real numbers, then you can call him up and say, hey, darling, very nice what you're telling me, but you know, you are not really very often in the back office. So go in and look at the trainings, look what we're doing there. And then after that, if, if you've got any questions, call me up and then we will go through it. But first look at all the informations who are there. 
So like this, you can really save some time for yourself and save work because when they have looked at all the information in the back office, then the questions will be different ones. They will be more profound and more detailed. And then you know exactly that there's somebody who is really um, after the information and you don't have to do so much, um, you know, start a work which is here already done or what has already uh, been made. Okay, so then you can see this at everybody, and now we have here something else. You see, here, Nicole, we have here a, the plus sign. You see at, this, at the beginning here, and if you click on the plus sign, then there is another field which opens, and you see there are other two names. So you can see exactly. Okay, Nicole has sponsored two first lines, Barnes and Blair, and and you see. <clears throat> here that Blair also has sponsored somebody and you can go even deeper like this you can go till the last one in your I don't know eight or tenth line it doesn't matter it just goes down and down and down like this you can see all the information from everybody and and with in, in this uh, with this mode um, you have really a very good overview on your entire organization. So let's go back now. This was the financial tree. Now we go on the career tree. And the career tree, as you see, you also have here the, um, the people, the first line you have sponsored. And this looks a little bit different like the financial view. So the financial view is all the people you're earning or you're somehow getting um, royalties or some commission, all right? And on the career view, those are the people where you um, actually can help to, um, you know, to reach some qualifications. You know, you, you have sometimes in your um, network marketing career, and, and you're building up a group and a huge group and sometimes you have these questions like oh I'm just missing a few points to reach the next level in the um, career plan um, would you like to help me with some points out because I'm still missing a few volume points so and now when you're getting these questions from somebody in your organization this is get, very, getting very complicated because of course nobody Nobody wants to give um, somebody from who he has sponsored um, and to put him down under somebody else, even if it's in his own organization, because he's losing money. So why should he do that? So in this case, this is different than by easy, because and by easy he can say, okay, of course you're on qualification this month. Here I having a line. I'm just putting this under I don't know whoever needs it. You know, in your team. Um, and then what you're getting, you're getting the volume for this month for your qualification, but not the money. The money still will uh, go to the person who the line belongs to. That means you're getting the volume, you can reach your next level, and then you can earn, of course, a higher commission from the next month on, but the money from this volume placement from this month is still going to the person who the line belongs to. Okay, so I hope this was clear for you. But I think this is a very good deal because like that, you know, nobody's angry and nobody's disappointed and oh, my upline doesn't help me and stuff like that. They can do it, but also they don't lose something. It should always be a win-win situation. Then we have here the button, as you see, personally introduced. Personally introduced means you will see here on one view all the first line you have introduced into Buy Easy. You see the ID number, the country flag, name, email address, phone, the shop package, the shop renewal level, and the volume owner. So this is also very good if you just want to email to all of your first lines or you want to call them all up. You have them all in one fast view and you can just call them up, talk to them about the business or whatever news are going on. And you don't have to search forever to find them all out. Then we have here the organization tools that means volume placement. So when you have 
people I told you about the career tree um, you see here normally there will appear those team members who are available for a you know for a placement for helping somebody uh, to reach for example the next level in this demo version we don't have anyone here there are no team members currently available for placement so but normally um, when there are some of course available they would appear here in this field so as I said I think my organization is very easy to understand I just would go through um, well first of all you you need to get um, to sponsor a few but then just go through it and you will understand it very fast so I wish you a lot of luck a lot of success and really a lot of first lines and a lot of team members have a great day bye